All right, uh, today we're at Southeast Missouri Hospital um, with Dr. Sam Hancock, um, one of our expert Lucy users, um, and he's going to be talking to us today and showing us um, how Lucy is used in a clinical setting. And I uh, thought we'd start out by just kind of talking about, um, you know, why you chose Lucy um, for uh, your testing purposes and, and what you find Lucy can, can do for you um, uh, in the clinic. Well, Neil, I, I've learned over the years that everyone has limited resources and there's never enough time to do all the tests that you think you need to do in order to satisfy yourself that you're um, doing your radiation therapy treatments as accurately as, as they can be. Um, and so one solution to that is to be able to do an end-to-end -end test of whatever the process is that you're performing. And um, you can test other, uh, you can test every possible step in the process, every piece of equipment, every component that's involved in a process, but in the end you still don't know how it all fits together mm -hmm. and if, it, if the end result is as accurate as you want it to be. And so um, it's important to be able to do an end-to-end -end test. With, with a single piece of equipment basically. Right. And um, the Lucy Fandom is the only thing I've found that allows one to do an end-to-end -end test of a stereotactic radiosurgery process, starting with scanning through contouring, treatment planning, and treatment delivery. Interesting. Well, appreciate that. And uh, um, what are some of the things that uh, you're going to uh, show us today? Well, with the Lucy Phantom, um, you can start with an MRI scan. So I'll show the uh, assembly of the phantom for an MRI scan. Okay. Um, typically the treatment planning process involves also a CT scan, so I'll show that assembly. Excellent. Um, with two variations, one for frame-based radiosurgery um, and also for frameless radiosurgery. Okay, great. Then we'll go on to uh, the setup for um, treatment delivery and testing the treatment delivery um, using either a, a spatial accuracy test with a hidden hidden ball Winston Lutz setup, mm -hmm. um, an ion chamber measurement, a point measurement uh, at the center of the sphere, okay. um, and also a, a film based test uh, with which you can do a, an analysis of the uh, accuracy of the position and uh, uh, dose distribution that's delivered. Excellent. Well, I look forward to seeing that. Okay, there are two uh, tools designed for that. These small plugs have little lateral holes and you use this pin and just pull those straight out. If you need access to those holes. Also, these larger plugs are removed using the screwdriver. Just pry them out using a lateral force with your screwdriver. And then this assembly of the two hemispheres just requires removing these two screws with your Allen wrench. To assemble the phantom for an MRI scan, you want your four MRI marker cylinders, which go in these four holes. These each have five mineral oil beads that match the location of five metal beads that go in uh, similar 
uh, CT marker cylinders. You also need a, uh, an isocentric volume insert that looks like this. This has three mineral oil volumes um, that allow for accurate image fusion with your CT scan. This is called the MRI isocentric volume insert, but I also use it for, for CT scans. Hmm. And that goes into this side of the Phantom. You also need your signal generator. This is what generates the signal for the MRI scan. And this goes into this side. So you assemble the Phantom by putting the two hemispheres together. There are the two Allen screws that hold them together. Tighten those with your Allen wrench. And all these tools do come along with the Phantom. That's right. Now you want to plug all the holes with the nylon plugs. These are beveled to fit the uh, contour of the Phantom. It's like putting a puzzle together. Yes. And one more hole. The screwdriver that comes with the Phantom. And now it's ready to be scanned. Okay. This can be placed in the scanner in any orientation because you're going to virtually rotate this within your planning system when you fuse it with the uh, CT scan. Um, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter how you orient it, but I found I get the best results if I rotate the planar volume insert 45 degrees from the MRI uh, scans, MRI slices. Okay. And, and when you scan it, do you scan it uh, on a pad or, I mean, how is it usually scanned? I leave it, that up to the MRI techs to put it in maybe a, a head holder or anything that will hold it stable. And uh, the, the signal from that signal generator is not very strong and so I found it's important for them to locate the phantom in the center of the scanning volume, otherwise they have a problem getting a strong enough signal. Wonderful.